Meanwhile, folks, on the AI revolution, obviously it is now in full swing. Uh, uh, and, and you can see, right, everyone's been buzzing about it. Uh, but there's something else that's happening. And I think it could be like, get the buzz that NVIDIA is getting today somewhere down the road. And that's quantum computing. And it's been around for a long time, but it is on fire right now. These are just some of the smaller names. Just in the last month, in the last month, uh, quantum computing's up 173%, INQ 91%, D-Waves up 44%. These are the kind of moves that you want to be in. Now, my next guest has actually been positioning investors for this kind of move for a few years now. She's got a quantum ETF that has been absolutely on fire as well. Uh, let's bring in now from Defiance ETF CEO and CIO, Sylvia Jablonska. Sylvia, we sat around two or three years ago, what about your quantum fund? You're like, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a quantum fund. Uh, <laughs> but you always said it's going to be a longer term thing. Yeah. Well, the time has gone by. And look at this. This is a hell of a move. So the overall market be began bouncing here, too. But this is dwarfing the move of the overall market and it's picking up steam. Is the promise of quantum now starting to is, is, is it here? It is. It is here. And it's 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 starting to play out. So where is it? You know, right now it's within bank. It's it's with, you know, drug discovery. So all the pharmaceutical companies, the research firms are using quantum computing to process data and get results quickly to better outcome of medicines and cures and things like this. Material science, um, cryptography, you have more, you know, given the geopolitical issues that we have right now, you have more precise location, um, information gathering from, you know, different things that are going on in the world, really. Material science, uh, you know, the energy required for AI and data centers and, and all of these things. So quantum computing is quantum computers, which... Right process data very quickly right. so you can use the information but it's also like lasers it's also you know visual graphics it's nvidia it's, well let's talk um, about IBM. the size because i was yeah. reading somewhere the size is going to grow exponentially we're talking like 800 900 billion dollars soon yes so we think by by 2050 this, this could be an 800 billion dollar industry and by the way in 2018 we were also we had you know an etf out there called quantum that we positioned as an ai and machine learning play right. that is called quantum computing but look what happened the chat gpt moment so this is just kind of like that next level of of what we think is the ai move let's talk about some of the ideas that you like right now yes. you, you, you like nvidia but you're a long-term yes. investor so you don't really care too much about i don't, I don't care the right, big event right. is just you know fun to watch my, my Micro strategies is just through the roof, absolutely through the roof. It's, through the uh, roof. And, and you guys also have an ETF on this, right? Yeah, or MSTX, it's a two, two times levered micro strategy fund. It's the hottest traded product right now in the market. It's grown over a billion dollars. What's the symbol again? Um, MSTX. Okay. Yeah. IonQ has already made a big move. I showed it earlier at the yes. start of this segment. I'm diving in. Look, I'm learning. I'm trying to learn all I can about these names. And this is one that's starting to stand out to me as well. Right. And it did nothing. Like if, if you had run the performance just in, into the fall, it had been down about 30, 40 percent. Now it's kind of outperforming. And I think what's happening is, you know, the, the quantum, com the idea of quantum computing is catching a bit. So you have government spending, you know, billions of dollars are going into this. You have the um, you have the big companies like Google, IBM, um, Honeywell using quantum computers, and they actually have quantum computers that they kind of outsource for this. So they're positioned really well on this. I, I'm surprised on this one. So yeah. super micro, you think uh, all this, all these things are the delisting the issues with the auditors that's just short term yeah and like there's always a solution for these things right and I think that either either the auditors come in we get the reports everything is good we move on and they they kind of do what they're doing which is showing prowess in quantum computing and and in AI right. um, or you know or it doesn't work out and there's a real problem and then you you switch leadership right. I mean I just think that there's such a such an integral role in because the AI this stock, space if, if you're right this is a hell of a bargain right here yeah we're trading now I, I look I've been I've been buying it as it's been crashing um, catching that falling knife I, ju I just think that this company has legs in it I mean they they are the um, provider to, to Google to Amazon Right. on to Apple, right. like their, their top NVIDIA. Just 10 seconds, Palantir, there's been haters on this who've missed this stock. Yeah. Alex Karp, is, he's really, he's, he's, he's the, this, guy. the, really, the analyst yeah. big time, right? Yep. So now they're saying, well, Insider's a dumping stock. They never bought any stock. There was an Insider, there was a board member who put out a tweet imploring retail to stay in. Are any problems with this on a public relations side? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, as you said, it's a PR thing. I, I think that this stock is poised to be a leader in the AI space. You know, a lot of the government contracts that are going to go into right. kind of AI from that perspective are, are going to feed into that company. And look, they're joining all the big major indices now. So I think it's, along with Supermicro and, and MicroStrategy, one of the hot names to trade you right know, now. You know, I just got to congratulate you. Really, Thank really. You. I mean, a lot of people Thanks. talk about these things after they happen. You were there before they happened. And you, yes. and you dealt with it. I mean, these names weren't yeah. really 
moving yeah. for a long time. 22, 2022 is not a fun year for, yeah. for our company. But so. you're partying we're, now we're, like crazy. We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't drink and drive. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Right, folks.